Hey guys, so originally I uploaded this video early in the morning, but if you guys already saw it early in the morning, this is pretty much the same video, but I have to put this now and the end outro is no longer there because I don't want to get copyright strikes. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy. <sighs> well, one, because I'm going to be starting school soon. Two, because I'm going to be busy the next few days. I thought today I'd make the video about another 13 year old music video. But is the video going to be as bad as Zelfie? Or is it going to be better than Sweatshirt? I, I don't freaking know. I, it's just a video. You know, I am going to be not just critiquing the video, I'm also going to be critiquing the YouTuber as well. Hello, Truth About fans. Today's Truth About video will be called The Many Mistakes of Johnny Orlando, or as call it, The Truth About Johnny Orlando. The Spay Kid, this, he's pretty much episode one. The Phantom Menace. He's pretty much like episode one, The Phantom Menace, and a combination of all the st bad Star Trek jokes and all the crossover episodes and comics that were unneeded. So yeah, basically, that's what it's about. Anyway, I hope you all Damn, Truth, what complaint do you have for the intro this time? Uh, well, my complaint is, is that the intro to the video sounds like, instead of 10, 9, it's saying turn 9. What is your demographic here? Are you trying to turn teenagers and adults into 9-year-olds? Because that means we'll be under the age of demographics, meaning yes, we'll be in disguise. I really don't like it, though. It's time. I, I am right. I am the reason why I called it the Phantom Menace. I was right. This is freaking Star Trek next level annoyance. You know... What? Are you serious? Okay. So, first mistake was, first mistake was turn 9. Now it's a freaking spaceship? Most kid music videos are just kids standing out in the garage being kids, but you're like, I want to be intergalactical. I want to have sex with the aliens. So you take it in space. Okay. Well, one, space is not really a great place to go. Second of all, you're a horrible captain. And third of all, where are your parents? Are you guys the Galactic Kids Next Door? Is this the reason why the Galactic Kids Next Door will probably never get released on Cartoon Network? Is it because of you, little bastard? Because if it's because of you, I'm going to punch you in the face and I'm going to be like, Give us Galactic Kids Next Door and not this crap. Please. Okay, so first of all, if you're a four-year-old and you're thinking, Yes, I'm watching another Frozen parody. Oh, uh, well, one, it's not a Frozen parody. Second of all, it's Let Go, not Let It Go. Jeez, you know, I have many critiques to do. This is the only the intro. You know how I did it for Selfie? I critique the intro so much. But this one, I actually have to critique the intro even more because, well, one, I'm looking at a high-quality video made by a low-quality kid. So what does this mean? Is this the future of music videos? Probably not, because most music videos nowadays are either taking place in front of prisons or are out on the streets, not in freaking space. Sorry kid, you went to 1999. I know the 90s are cool and all, but you're too young to understand what the 90s kids are. I may be a few years older than you, but I'm not even a 90s kid. I searched up his name, and I actually realized Nai... Nai... Pramos? I searched up Nai Pramos, who was the director of this film. He did... If you don't know, he did all the Liv and Maddie and other Musical.ly Kid music videos. So, I know where they go now. So, have you ever wanted to go... Wanted to find all these cringingly bad music videos? Yeah, just search up his website. There will actually be a link in the description below. I will not be putting a link to his personal Twitter because I do not want him to get attacked there. If you want to go ahead and check out all his work, all his crappy work is in the description below. He's worked on many productions for this kid and some other kids on the internet too. It's kind of sad to see an old guy work for Disney, work on crappy kid music videos, which have made him become 
not really as liked and trusted in directing because he all he does on his channel and his website, he just directs little kid productions to make a quick buck. And he does very successfully. Now, don't get me wrong, his directing is not bad. It's just if you're only directing little kids things, bruh, in my opinion, that's kind of sad. I feel so sorry for you. I probably scream at you. This video is going to be a good one to talk about, especially look at the kid's face in the beginning of the video. The kid in the beginning of the video's face looks like he's sad, it looks like his family member got shot, looks like his dog got put down, looks like something bad happened to him. What, are we supposed to feel sorry for this kid? Because this kid is... I don't want to feel sorry for a kid, in my opinion, who's a brat to Leafy is here. Well, one, uh... Leafy is here and Rice Gum can they can have their own opinions, I really don't care. But if you don't know, why would you have like a sad depressive face like my dog just died, I want you all to feel sorry for me. I'm getting hated on Twitter. I'm getting millions of dollars. I'm going to become the next wannabe. And you know those wannabes? Yeah, I'm the homeless guys on the street. Yeah, but the next one's gonna be me. Well, First of all, that's a horrible way to start a music video. Not just with the intro, but that- First of all, after an entire 30 seconds of the face going doo -doo 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 -doo, Aiming at his face, which I didn't want to see, it shows the two girl- a guy and a girl probably holding hands. And you know, are they a couple? Because, well, one, if they are a couple, then congratulations, sir. You got the booty earlier than me. But if they're a couple, then why are they promoting middle school couples? Well, one, I personally don't like middle school couples. I don't care if you become a middle school couple. It's just whenever I see a middle school couple in modern media, I normally think of two whiny kids who can't take a relationship seriously. And, you know, if I am in a relationship, nobody would really care. So yeah, why would you write a song that's basically written, in my opinion, I have another complaint, but that's going to be after I talk about this complaint. First of all, that's a horrible way to start off a music video, and that's just in my opinion, but I agree. So if you guys search up the song Girls featuring Madcon, first of all, I love Madcon, the two guys go for 35 year olds. This same case is a little bit, the, the age gap is a little bit smaller, but you gotta understand, I see an age gap in this. This 13 year old is going for a 15 year old. No offense to that. It's just in my opinion, it's disgusting, and the kid's ugly. You know, I was planning on making an entire critique video, but because I really don't want to do another one of these, I might- I'm still gonna do another one of them because I did a previous one, and I would like to first of all say I don't like kids doing these kinds of videos. First of all, because, well, one, the kids become Kanye West at the age of 15. Remember Jaden Smith? Yeah. He became an asshole once he went to the age of 17, but then he changed a little bit, which is going to end up to be the same direction that happens to Johnny Orlando, Matty B, Jacob Satorius, Mark Thompson, and so many other YouTubers, Baby Ariel, yeah, I know. It's going to happen to a lot of kids, and it's very unfortunate to see a group of kids on Musical.ly become unfortunately famous. Now, personally, I don't like Musical.ly, but there are some good things that have came out of Musical.ly that have actually led to some pretty good artists today. But I don't like um, Musical.ly taking 13-year-old kids and putting them together and making them more popular and famous when I look at YouTubers today and I see a lot of YouTubers who take time out of their day to make music sound good. I look at people like Devon Terrell, Futuristic, g Easy, no wait, g Easy was already famous, Black Bear, Mike Posner. I also look at people like Hi Rez, Chance the Rapper, 
and so many other artists who, in my opinion, been working in the industry for years and never really had the chance until recently. This kid had the chance immediately because of lip syncing. And it's the reason why I don't like Musical.ly. It's because it's giving kids the age of 13 music abilities. And now, I hope this trend dies off in recent years. I hope this trend dies like, um, what does the fox said died very, very quickly and before it gets too late. I hope that this trend of 13 year olds becoming famous dies. Because, well, one, I really do not want to have another 13 year old become famous. No offense to 13 year olds. I want 13 year olds to have a childhood. I don't want 13 year olds' childhood to be in fame. Because whenever a 13 year old's childhood is fame, it could ruin their childhood for the rest of their life. You know, um, Kevin McCracken, the guy who played, um, Kevin in Home Alone, his life got ruined after the making of Home Alone. So, that's why he went out of the limelight. So many artists have went out of the limelight because of this. And that's why I say, if you're going to become famous off of Musical.ly, I'd recommend you wait. Anyway, that was the truth about... And I thank you all for watching. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the video that I saw, the original crappy video that I saw, yeah, there is a link to that video in the description below. There will not be a link to his iTunes, even though it says there on his thing that there's a link to his iTunes, but I'm not going to do that. Also, if you're interested in checking out my Twitter, you could actually talk to me there, ask me questions, send me requests about YouTube videos you want me to do related to the YouTube community, gaming, music, whatever it is. But if you know anybody who's become famous off of Musical.ly, just tell them, wait. Just tell them to wait a few years and don't do it early. Because you could um, end up like Jacob Satorius and Johnny Orlando and fail hard, or you c but rarely you could become Willow Smith and become Phenomenon at the age of 10. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. I'm sorry this video was a little bit shorter than most, but, hey, I have some other video ideas I want to do. I don't want to just stick to doing videos about little kids. You know, that's not the whole point of the truth about. I forgot to note that his rapping, in my opinion, was one of the worst raps I've ever heard. <laughs> nah, in all honesty, I'm tired of this. Okay, I'll see you all later. Bye, guys. Enjoy your day.